Let's see. This has to come off. And this is the one that I have to be careful not to. Well, we're missing one anyway. But let's see, it came right off. See the way this thing is designed? Yes. It's. Uh, let's see if I can get that to focus. It's got those little tabs on the inner circumference that. When you slide it down on the plastic post, kind of wedge into the post. All right, so let's get this knob off. Hopefully that snaps right off. There's a wedge behind it there. There it is. Okay, if you look here, they have these wires going to the, so this isn't going to be as easy as we thought. Aha! Look at here. This was actually cracked the whole time, this standoff post. So we're going to have to glue that back on somehow, or attach it. Well, the more we get into this, the more... I realize we're, so it looks like the only thing holding this here, got a couple of wires here, this wire, these, but I can then flip it up maybe to get to this, to solder these new leads. And this one needs to kind of, that's a, uh, it looks like it's wrapped around it. Look at that. There. Now we get it out of there. There we go. Okay, we might be able to just kind of move it over and get to these. Of course not. What prevents us from going over is this guy here. goes through this hole to here. I think we can remember that. And let's just knock him off right quick. Probably the quickest thing to do. Then he'll flip over. There we go. Now we should be able to get clear all of this congestion. Get into these solder positions and run new wires. This was for the fuse. It goes down in the bottom of that cavity right there with a spring down in there. So we can't forget to position that back a little bit later. Okay, so we got it all cleared out here. I got a couple of longer wires for the 1.5 volt or the D-cell wires. We had the 9 volt um, uh, plug here that I had sitting around. These, all, these will be long enough since this is on this side to connect right on top of the 9 volt. So let's clear these out. Um, the only, this is a ground so I don't think this is, this stays here. This is the fuse, bottom of the fuse cavity with the spring loaded for the pressure on the fuse. This is ground right here. This large, large one right there. 
Let's see if we can get those out of there. There we go. All right, so let's take some wick. Should have solder wick. Make a nice cleaner job if we can wick some of the old solder out. This is pre-fluxed wick. See how it sucks it up? Let me show you that up close. It's really fun watching that happen. Okay, let's watch that again. It'll really, really, really get good wick. Good wick is really important. You can get bad wick, cheap stuff, um, and you will just be frustrated. So watch this. I already sucked a lot of it up. So you see the holes are nice and clean. You can see it just absorbs it in the the close weave of the wick. Wick is just co copper fabric, like woven into a fabric, and it's the capillary action just sucks the solder right up. So let's clear the nine volt lead out, clean it with the wick. See, it's look, it's just absorbing it. Okay, we'll remember nine volts on the edge. This is a 1.5 volt. Let's go back on the wick a little bit, give it some clean area. Wow, look at that. Just cleans it, sucks it right out. That should do it. All right, ready for the new leads? All right, let's do this positive. Um, So you'll see it. Let's solder it right in there. Beautiful. Nine volt. There it is. Should stay right there. Oops. That's still need a lot of solder on that hole. Oh, there we go. There it is. Make sure we're in there. Yep, we're good. All right, negative. Negative side of both. Let's just flip it over. Stick that there. I'm gonna kind of bend it over here to hold it in place on the other side. And then we need to strip this. You probably can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> I forgot I zoomed in. All right, let's do this. Hold them in there. I'm going to do that with my left hand. I'm going to kind of uh, hope you can see this. Yep, I believe you're there. I'm going to load up my soldering iron tip just to kind of get these to hold. There. There. Now, once I do that, I'm going to make sure. go. Lovely. Ready to go. These kind of were fed back up through that cavity. Like this. Out of the way. We'll do the same thing again. And get it back together. Okay, so we're 
putting this thing back together I flipped it over we have the new wires here fed through um, putting these two studs back on square head needle nose pliers very handy all right so you remember this stud broke off we'll deal with that later you remember the purple wire we had that fed through this hole and we had to resolder we fed it back and soldered it the two studs going to the actual meter itself speed speed signal but it doesn't it's kind of neat to have feed your signal through like stability studs or to attach the circuit board <clears throat> and the other thing we have to do is over here we have this weird wire that looped over this common conductor that goes across this really heavy piece of wire which is bare so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of use this to slide it back where the solder area is and I'll load up a little extra solder on the iron with the thicker with the bigger tip good pretty much uh, so what now well what now is we're ready for a 9 volt battery but we need to figure out how we attach a D cell well, we're not going to worry about that now we're going to feed it just 1.5 volts regulated DC just to see if we can get it to work Leads. And we'll crank up the power supply. 